seen within our culture, within our network, within our families is so important. And as you're building an understanding of the birth and experience in you, it's also important to understand what you may be experiencing from the outside. When I say the outside, I mean your family, your culture, your network, how you're being how your experience is being experienced and interpreted by the outside world and how all of this may lead to more internal chaos. Culturally, there's often two distinct schools of thought, the medical model or the spiritual model. The medical model often views it as a sickness. The spiritual model often views it as an awakened process. When we treat it as either of the above, the experience and possibly the alchemy of that experience is removed from us. If it is a medical illness, then it needs to be fixed and stopped. If it is spiritual, depending on the particular teachings, we get to be in awareness of it, but not attached to it. Either way, we are preventing ourselves from working with the material that will eventually free us. If my process had have been stopped or cured, I would not be writing this book. I'd not be able to offer a healing model. Think about that for a moment. What is beyond this for you? What will life look like when you are free from what is birthing? When you are free from the shackles of the old wound itself? What and how will this shape your future? You might not see it now, but it will come. For anyone that hasn't been on the healing journey, who hasn't come face to face with the pain within, they simply don't understand the reality of the pain that is experienced. It is not understood in the same way the physical pain is felt. When I compare the support that is given when we have a medical problem or pain in the medical sense, you see the amount of families and support networks that gather around with resources and food and practical things, with love and support and connection and compassion. If someone you love was an ill in hospital, there is often only love and support. And the opposite is often true for someone who is struggling with mental and emotional difficulties. Fear of talking about it, being shunned by loved ones, being treated with shame or blame. And this type of treatment often inflames the feelings that we are birthing. It adds layers of shame and blame to an already excruciatingly painful process. If the culture is a heavily medicalized one, emotional and mental pain is labeled as a crisis or a breakdown. A medication will be the order of the day to stop that process. As a result of this, I thought I was crazy. And if I told anybody about the extent of the disease that I was experiencing, I must all, almost certainly be labeled as mad and diagnosed with many of the mental illnesses at hand in the DSM. At the time, I had no understanding either that this could have been seen as a spiritual awakening. And to be honest, I'm glad that I didn't. If I had awaited for my awareness to separate or my mind to separate or to be unattached to the feelings and thoughts that were moving through me, I would have certainly spiralled into despair. The reality is that this experience is part of the human experience. It is not mad, it is not bad, it is not shameful, it is not even enlightening. It is simply the birthing of wounded material that has been sourced in your experience. It is real, experienced in this lifetime, with emotions and meanings that are begging to be witnessed. 